down and out, your apartment. Three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you got left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called. The money's run out and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of society run by megacores who just want your nuyen. Something needs to change. And soon. Your notebook. Calendar, contacts, that sort of thing. The list is sad, dried up. Carter Detroit. Pixar. No response to messages. Dowd. Runner. Dead. Felton Nash. Pixar. Missing since February. New Larry. Runner. Dead. Sam Watts. Runner. Probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma. Runner. Dead. Half Jack. Dealer. Retired. Or dead. The list goes on. All either dead ends or just plain dead. It's empty. Nothing to do. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey buddy, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. <laughs> Where have you been, Sam? Haven't heard from you in months. <laughs> oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So, why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Ren Raku run? Where things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterward? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. You've been running with new Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd? Never seen anyone die like that before. Idiot. I hate this fragging city, Big Jack. It's wet, the rain feels like acid. I want out of here. I get it. Now take a pill and relax. Oh sure, Big Jack, sure. Whatever you say. I don't know, Big Jack. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight. But he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run, so far. But he needs watching. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Got the track, Sam. We both know I dialed went down. It wasn't the fixer nor some other paranoid chip dream of yours. I've been waiting for this all night. 
New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spill it. You were sloppy. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands, they're shaking. Is that true, Sam? Did you miss a beat back there? No, Big Jack, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. We were set up. And he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renwerku? How come you couldn't geek the guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. Okay. I see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. How much did they pay you to sell us out, Larry? Honestly, didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland into some cushy corp job. I'm out of this racket. We've got incoming! Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're gonna take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Big Jack. Buy you a drink after this? You'll owe me several. He had that coming. This is bad. They have a shaman.
You okay, Sam? That was a hell of a thing. You don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this gig, Big Jack. Me, not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up, find a nice brothel somewhere, stay drunk until I croak. What about you? I'll find a safe house out of town. Lay low. Ray Raku has a long memory. I do too. I don't forget my friends. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now, I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of that list. Maybe it's the only name on that list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand New Yen insurance policy, payable when you find you crease me, alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain when the job is done. They'll know what to do. Chet? Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mangert, and McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access the number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. Look, Big Jack, I've led a Drek life and I probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people, I've hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just wanted the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Hmm, a hundred thousand new yen buys a lot of drinks. Hope you just said yes. I've got a locator ship slotted in my head these days. If, when my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. We'll see how it can't be worse than any of this.